Hey everybody, it is Margaret and I am here with a jewelry box unboxing. Uh, Rose was so kind to send me an... Oh, of course my alarm is going to go off right then. And uh, Stop, you. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, Rose was kind enough to send us another box of jewelry to unbox. Let me see if I can pick it up and show you. It's really heavy. It's really, really heavy. One, two, three, go. So this is the giant box that was sent by Rose. Thank you so much. Um, it's like Christmas. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, so anyway, hello everybody in the chat. Hi, going on Grumpy, Alistair, Christine. Hello, Joni. Um, hope all is well with you guys. Um, she also sent an awesome note that I will put over here because I keep all my notes. I don't know if I, I've shown you that before. I have a little, I have a little mini scrapbook for all my notes that everybody sends me. You know. Anyway. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, Julie. Hey, Aussie Thrifter Christian. Hi, Elsie. Um, and if I missed anybody else, good morning. Hello. Okay, so yeah, we're going to dig into this. Last time, it took me two videos, so we'll see how we do. Um, and my sister was kind of bummed because I think she wanted to go through it with me. She had already like picked out pieces. She was like, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> she, I think she might be kind of bummed that she's not here to, to get to unbox this with me. But um, oh, well, I can't wait for her to come back because... I don't know when that's going to be. Okay, so again, hello, hello again. Hi, Maggie, Shelly. Let's see, I'm sure I'm missing people again in the chat. And hello, Tina, Darlene, Teresa, Rose. Hello, hello, thank you, Rose, for the box. Hi, Chili Serrano, and hello, Anita. Okay, and again, if, you're, if you've been watching my channel for a bit, you'll notice that I've decided to like cut out all my other channels because I had a couple other channels and just put everything over here. So it seems like I'm just like dumping all these videos over here. So like yesterday I put all the Chatterbooks videos over here. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Um, yeah. Anyway, cause I'm like, I'm wondering like, what are people thinking? Like what the heck is she doing? Anyway, if they watch my videos, they would understand. They would know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Let's just move forward. I'm trying to adjust it. It's on like a little TV stand next to me. So I'm trying to adjust the box and like the box to put stuff in. So I have too much stuff around me, I think. Okay. Maybe I'll put it over here. How's that? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Again, I haven't started yet, but I like saying hey to people as they're coming into the chat. So Mimi Soku, good morning. I'm glad you caught me today too. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Svelte Steph. Hello, hello, Tina. Signing up to be an Etsy seller while watching you. Yay. Um, got a, I got a good sale on Etsy yesterday for a pattern. For, it was like 40 bucks, right? So I'm super excited about that one. Hi, Bobby. Twin, Ragon, Twin Red Dragons Brewery. Uh, John, hello. Hello, Nick. Hello. <laughs> Just what I need. Oh, yeah. Nick's been listing uh, endless Atari games. So lots and lots. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So let's do this. I've got my magnet. I am prepared. I've got my loop just in case, right? Because I don't know what, what came in the box. And then she, she said, I could, you know, I could sell, I could keep, I could give away, I could do whatever. So who knows? Well, maybe we'll do a giveaway. Who knows? All right. So first up, we have got this. I guess they're like wooden discs and wooden beads. Super cool. Chunky necklace. Um, yeah, so that's cool. And you know, that's the thing, like there things are like, oh, I wouldn't wear that, but I have you have to keep in mind like there's somebody that's like, what? Like that boho look, or you know, they they will eat it up. They will eat it up. Hello, Kara's here. Hello, Tiff's Thrifts and Whitney and Nini. Hello, hello everybody. I'm so glad you're here today. Okay, now this one, this was one I really liked. So it's a big plastic heart. This reminds me of like the 80s. Oh my gosh, right? Um, and then these, they're, they're almost like, they're not exactly faceted. They're kind of like rough cut, like rocks sort of faceted. Oh, so cool, right? This plastic, uh, big plastic red heart. So that's awesome. How do you do, Angie? Hello, Joel. Hello. And then this was one of the ones my sister had on. She loved the big green beads. So there's this big, long green beads. Super cool. And if I go too fast, y'all tell me. Okay. Oh, look. Okay, this has got a, a mark on it. NY. I don't know if that's. Look at me. I need to get my nails. Get my nails redone. So funny, Margaret. I need to redo my nails. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so it's got a shell. I digress. And it's on this. I guess it's not exact. No, it's not leather. But on these cords, like so. So 80s, right? 
<laughs> you know what else is so 80s? Oh my gosh, I almost died when I saw this. Look at this, you guys. Look, just look. Okay, do you remember these? And I think these go for okay money, so I was surprised. I think there, there are people that are collecting their childhood. Do you remember these plastic charms? I do. All right, let's go through this necklace that somebody has made with these charms. I don't even remember where you would get them, but I remember having them. Okay, we've got a rocking horse. Yes, we're going through each one. We have got a foot. I think I had this foot. Look at the foot. There's a foot. And we have got a tennis racket, the old standard tennis racket. Oh my gosh, look. We've got the dentures, <laughs> the teeth, yes. And then we've got, is that the sun? Maybe it's the sun or a, no, or a gumball. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Okay, but do you guys remember? Yes, there's a bud can, just wait. And then we've got a little rattle, cool. A, a baby safety pin, do you guys remember these? I so remember these, oh my goodness. Then there's a little treasure box, like so. A little hairbrush. There's the bud can. <laughs> My sister and I, this reminds me of something. If you have not seen, there's a Saturday Night Live episode where Will Ferrell plays Harry Carey and he's interviewing Jeff Goldblum, um, who's pretending, who, they're, they're, he's an astrophysicist. And he's, uh, Harry Carey is asking him if he would eat the moon if it was made of barbecue spare ribs. And he goes, I would. And then I'd polish it off with a tall, cool Budweiser. <laughs> anyway, I'll have to share that. If you're not following me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures, I'm going to post that video over there because it's hilarious. Every time we die, it's so funny. Okay, gumball machines. Okay, yeah. So there's the Budweiser. There's the, the Crest toothpaste. <laughs> juicy fruit. Total juicy fruit fan when I was uh, in the 80s. 7-Up. Is that a big gulp of a 7-Up? Then we have, oh, is that Gumby? I think it's Gumby. Sort of, or it's supposed to be Gumby, or looks like Gumby. Then we've got, oh, Shelly says, I had those, but I had to get them in the summer when I was in the U.S. Yes! We've got the Lifesavers. I have to show them all. I have to. We've got a Trumpet. We've got a Hershey Bar. Right? I think people still collect these. Love your live stream. Just saying, how's the sister? My sister's good. She's really good. Oh, she got, oh, but here's the thing. She got stung by some more bees yesterday. Do we want to hear this story? <laughs> We're going to keep going. Here's a dog, a little dog house. It says, I'm in the dog house. Oh, that's cute. Um, <laughs> let's put beer can and baby stuff on the same necklace. That's the 80s. <laughs> Bubble yum. Let's see. When I finish this, I'll tell you the story of my sister. Okay. And then a little Scotty dog. And then frying some eggs up in the, in the can, in the pan, in the can. Mm -hmm. And then we have got, what is this? Is he a chimpanzee? Is it some sort of ape? Uh, and then we have a lucky horseshoe with a horse in it. However, it is upside down, but I guess that's the way they did it. Oh, look, here's another beer, frothy beer. And a grand piano. <laughs> they do, Nick, they do. There's a bowling pin, a hamburger, we're almost done, and the shoe. A shoe. Okay, so those are super cool. I was so excited to see those. I'm just gonna put those back here. Let's just say that we'll put there. those go right back there. Okay, so my sister, real quick story, because it's a story that's happening right now, still unfolding. I need to call her. Um, so she's been doing bee removals for people. She's still figuring it out, you know, because she's a, a you know she's a really new beekeeper, and but she's been doing bee removal so she went to this house supposedly they were just in the wall turns out they were all inside in the ceiling um it was a house that the family didn't use anymore it was on the, their property or something so it turns out like the hive is like longer than her arms can go reach in it's like that big so she's like uh, i need my husband to help me and she was so covered i, I haven't seen the video yet she i guess facetime my dad he was like, he could barely see her. There were so many bees around her in her bee suit. And she was wearing full gloves, everything. She was so covered in bees that she got two bee stings on her hand. They, there were so many that they managed to get through the seams in her, in her glove and sting her hand. So she had two stings on her hand and she didn't have her ring off and her hand swelled up. And so her ring is uh, like, um, yeah, on her. I need to find out. Like, did she go last night to the 
emergency room to get a ring cut off or did she she took some medicine to get it to swelling to go down my and she's allergic to bees so it's of course she would do this anyway <laughs> so that's what's going on with her I need to call her <laughs> anyway um, nostalgia yeah the nostalgia is real for sure Aussie thrifter said I would have collected them if I had them in Australia good morning Dora um hi there Paul uh, do I also buy and resell clothes I don't that is now I will sell the odd piece here and there if I find something really cool vintage neat that I'm that I'm like out that it's outstanding but I I've tried I just don't get into it and and but I know that there's good money to be made there so there's nothing wrong with it absolutely yeah <laughs> Christine says that so sounds like my nightmare job and she says hit the thumbs up y'all yes hit the thumbs up I am hoping that's so why I keep telling her you've got to start videotaping people will pay good money to see a little girl not a little girl but she's a little girl covered in bees <laughs> you know like <laughs> people would really <laughs> she's I'm pretty sure she's fine <laughs> um yeah, yeah, Tina says, I got stung in the face once and looked like Quasimodo afterwards. She got stung in the face this weekend. So she got stung right here this weekend and then apparently on her hand yesterday. So <laughs> hi, Jessica. Okay, let's keep going. I'll, I'll let you know. Shall we call her? <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just call her real quick because now I'm worried. <laughs> Y'all are like, hi, is she okay? Is she okay? Let's just real fast see how she is, if she answers. Hang on. While, while it's ringing. While it's ringing, I'll keep showing. Here's this one. <laughs> Can you hear it ringing? <laughs> All right, here we go. That's pretty cool. I like that. I bet she doesn't answer. <laughs> There's no marks on it. Okay. Nope, it's going to voicemail. Yep, nope, it's not. Maybe she'll call me back. Okay. Um, <laughs> there is a huge YouTube scene for beekeepers. Have her making, yeah. Oops, it's no, it's calling somebody else. Oops. Okay. Let's see. All right, so there's that one. I know I keep telling you, you've got to do it. So I think when school lets out, I'm going out there to her place. Um, and so I'm gonna have her um like help her out, like show her, like, let's get you a tripod. Cause she's yeah. I will I will. Hopefully she'll she'll pat she'll call back twin red dragons. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's move forward. Now there were there are a couple of bags. I'm saving those. So I'm going in for what's loose. So here we have got a necklace that says Cindy on this cord. And it's got these, um, oh gosh, I always forget what those are called. With the beads, with the clay, what's it called? Polymer clay, right? Polymer clay. So that's cool. Now we find a Cindy, right? Yeah, I think my sister would do really well on YouTube. She's so funny. I think she would be nervous by herself. That's the thing. But she's she's really good. She'd be good. Okay, then these awesome green beads. This is a color you don't see too often. This is this is cool. I like this. And then it's got these sort of crocheted beads on top uh, that are there. That is cool. <laughs> Answer, sister. <laughs> if she can't see this message. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, the next up. We have got these pink, and oh, they've got little white stripes in them. I don't know if you can see that. So they've got little bitty white stripes, pink and white. That gives them a little extra oomph, huh? Pardon me. Cute, cute. Okay, next up. This is cool. All right, we have got this. These are gold beads. I can't tell what those are made of. I guess they're just plastic or wood, maybe, painted golden. And then there's these other stones that are painted kind of turquoisey but they are metal they are metal isn't that unusual hello jamie streck hello how are you hello anna i'm sure i'm missing people hi bobby moons okay so this is pretty cool now is the class broken no it's not okay i think this will go well that's pretty awesome don't you think like there did i miss much of any vintage no we just started i've only gotten through a few things uh hyper picker yeah because i just started Talking about my sister, of course. Okay, and then this just flew off and landed on my magnet. We have a little uh, flower, and it feels like it's like um, pantyhose <laughs> stretched over metal. Okay, now we have this slap style watch, which I don't think. Oh, it is ticking. Yeah, 
if anything is ugly, break it in a link and use the beads. That's right. She needed them um, like glass beads because she's going to make the chimes with the silverware, you know. And I actually have a bunch that I need to give her. But things got crazy and I didn't get to give them to her. But I'll bring them out to her. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. So we've got these pearls. But then there's also these red beads and gold, gold tone beads there. Those are kind of cool. Those red ones. Like that. Oh, you put the battery in there, Rose. Thank you. Thanks. There's that barrel clasp on it. Awesome. I can, this is it. Really has made my day. I really appreciate it. Really, I could say really more. And then we have this cute little beaded bracelet with some coin charms on it. Those are cute. It looks like a little Indian nickel. Those are cute. All right. So that's cool. Happy belated Mother's Day, Bobby Moon says. Thank you. We went to, we didn't, I'm not into like big crowds and stuff. So we went to the park early in the day and then the boys played on the, the splash pad. And then um, we just ordered food and, and Randy went and got it and brought it home. Yeah. <laughs> no, it makes me feel good, Rose. Thank you. Okay, then we've got this big medallion necklace with these blue and clear stones in it or rhinestones or anyway cool this is in pretty good shape long cord on that very nice yep okay cool and then next 68 viewers hi look how cool this is so this it's kind of got a mod look to it doesn't it it's got these not exactly harlequin but these diamond shapes they almost remind me of like jelly beans or bubble gum and then it's got this type of so this is totally vintage clasp like that look how cool this is okay now get back in there you very cool yeah i'll sell that <laughs> for sure for sure hello cindy cup how are you and a big red bead while they're graduated like there hello for real girl hi julie so that is cool that's a big that's like a jawbreaker right there Anyway, so cool. It's got that dark red, right? Almost like an oxblood type of red. Cool. Very nice. Okay, if I'm not giving you enough info about stuff, let me know. I feel rusty. I feel like I'm <laughs> rusty at this. I don't know why. All right, next up, there's this. They're kind of like these distressed looking beads, kind of orangey. And then the these wooden beads. And then this. I, it kind of looks like it's it wants to be cinnabar, kind of like a cinnabar look, like so, but it's plastic. Still cool, right? Again, that's that boho look, right? Somebody would like that. Okay, now we got some more red beads. Oh, yeah, but these ones are more like fire engine red. Same style, big graduated beads. Very cool. That's kind of cute. I mean, I don't wear that kind of stuff, but I could see somebody, you know, Funning up an outfit. I don't know. <laughs> Funning up an outfit's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Ginny says, 76 watching and only 17 thumbs up. What's up with that? Yeah. What's up with that? Go over there and hit that thumbs up, y'all. <laughs> Next, we have these blue beads. Very cool. Like turquoisey blue. Those are fun. Awesome. I really hope my sister calls back. Oops. Let me mute that. <laughs> and... Okay, I'm pulling, pulling. It's okay. Ooh, all right. No, don't be tangled. There we go. Now you go over there. Then we have these navy blue beads, and they've got these disc type beads, and then they've got these. How does that go? Okay, it goes like that. So there's those, and then they get bigger, and then they get smaller. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think someone would buy like something like that, or would that go into a lot? I kind of I kind of think it would go into a lot but I don't know. Somebody might look for like navy blue bead necklace. Right? Aren't they? <laughs> Bobby Moon says the beads are sweet. Hit the like button. Oh, Treasure Pirate says I hit the like button. Thank you. Okay, next up we've got these beaded Hmm. They're like these gold tone ones and then these silver tone ones. That's cool. Yeah, Melissa says, goes into a lot. Should go into a lot. Okay, so cool. 
I feel like those would hurt. Like all these little barrel beads with these little bumps on them. Like I feel like it would like really itch me <laughs> when we're wearing it. But maybe some people, maybe it doesn't bother some people. I don't know. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Hi, Connie. How's it going? So not magnetic, but I don't think they're silver either. Cool. Cool. Okay, so there's that one. Moving forward, we have got something a little more sinister. <laughs> we have got this skull. And it's on like a dog tag. And on the back it says driven. So I have to look that up and see if that's a brand that I need to know or, or what. Like bottle caps. Good morning, Turtle Trader. Hello. <laughs> Cindy says, my hair would get caught in those beads. Yeah. Okay, and then this has one of those type of closures. That's kind of cool where you can make it shorter or longer pretty easily by pulling. I think so. Cool. Doing great, Connie says. Thanks. Okay. Oh, this is kind of nice. So it is a black bead necklace. And it's got these kind of squashed looking beads. They look like gourds or pumpkins or something but they're black very cool like so in a big clasp long 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 very nice okay i feel like i'm not talking about stuff enough i'm just showing you stuff what do you want to talk about <laughs> okay and then we have it's got a good sound to it right it's got a nice sound the shells are clicking together to make a nice sound. So these kind of flat discs and then interspersed with some pink and blue shells in there. Those discs, I guess, are wood, maybe? I don't know. They're awfully soft. Smooth, rather. Okay. Treasure cannot be measured. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Okay. What else? We have... Oh, these are cute. These are so little. Oh, these little green beads. I wonder, this must be for a little one. Must be. That's what my brain. I'm, I'm going to click it on me real fast. It might be really tight on me or like go right at the base of the neck. Hi, Kunzi Kunz. I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm just being boring though. <laughs> I'm not really talking about anything. I'm just like, look at this. And now look at this. And here, look at this. But I can't think of anything, so... <laughs> Looks like a string of crackers. Hi, Cherie Johnson. Hi, Esther. Okay, so then we have these beads. Oh, these are all sort of multicolor and shape, and that's got a lot of different things going on. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Angie. <laughs> that one with shells would hurt, Diane says. Yeah. <laughs> like, like hitting somebody or like the pokiness? It might be a little pokey. Whoopsh. No, I wouldn't hit you with it. <laughs> Driven dog tags are at auto parts store for about four bucks, Connie says. Oh, okay. So that could go in one of my lots, probably. <laughs> Kinsey says, you're living my day. All right, next we have got a, I guess it's sort of like a macrame type. It's got these orange beads, but then also little gold tone beads in there. Look at the beads. This always makes me wonder, because those beads are all different sizes. I like it when I see that. I don't know why. I just do. It makes it feel more special. <laughs> Working on a new box too, Margaret Rose says. Oh, cool. We could talk about the weather. How is your weather? Let's talk about the weather. Our weather's been really nice. However, the pecan pollen has been atrocious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wish they were. Okay, I'm missing. I'm missing. <laughs> I'm missing something in there. I miss my business lady working girl. Oh, maybe we'll find some working girl necklaces in here. <laughs> there you go. Joseph says it's raining there. Okay, this is cool. These are kind of blue with gold um, speckles in there. Kind of like a, a lapis look to them. But they're really, look at, I mean, that's kind of cool. Those beads are really nice. But I don't think they're, I think they're surround. No, they're plastic. Yeah, they're plastic. <laughs> Julie says, 92 there. Headed out to the garden and then the pool. Nice. We don't have a pool. My boys, okay, here's something. My boys were like really upset. Not really upset, but they were like the injustice, right? Um, there's a neighborhood that has like a park. And like we have a park in our neighborhood. We don't have a pool in our neighborhood. And so the boys are like, we need to go to that pool over there. I'm like, we can't go to that pool over there. That belongs to that neighborhood. 
And they're like, what? That's not fair. And I'm trying to explain to them, like, homeowner's fees go to maintain the pool, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and they're, no, they're having none of it. No, why can't we go to that pool? It's not our neighborhood, guys. Anyway, <laughs> stretching. We have a stretchy bracelet here with some nice ding. Some of them are dangling. And some of them are barrel style. Whoa, look at that go. Okay. Okay, can't do it again. Can't recreate it. It's beautiful. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Texas here already hot by the end of the day. It was pretty hot yesterday. When the kids got home from school, whew, it, was, it was pretty warm out there. Okay, so this is cool. We've got a half pink, half silver donut on a cord. And it's got some tarnish to it, but it's coming off with my thumb when I rub it. So that's cool. It'll clean up. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. That's nice. Uh, like there. Okay. Do stretchy sell. So, you know, it's hit or miss. Like, I've sold some stretchy stuff. I saw, you know, and that's the thing. Like, everything will sell. Like, if you, you know, just try it. It's, I saw like it was like a plastic bead, and I've talked about it before. A plastic bead, like red, white, and blue, and it had like a flag, like American flag, and it was just like a stretchy bead bracelet. And I, I mean, it didn't sell for a ton, but it was. I got it out of a jewelry jar and sold it for like what seven or eight bucks or something. Yeah, the stretchy bracelets, if they have a nice clasp on them or or and aren't super stretchy, should I still put them in a lot or individual? Uh, if they're not real, like if they've lost their stretch, yeah, don't do not do it. Okay, I'm going to have to turn that off. My friends are messaging and I can't, I keep getting distracted. All right, so we've got some cool wooden beads here. And they are on, this looks handmade. They're on this cord, but maybe not. Who knows? All right, this is like jersey type material, like t-shirt material. Yeah. It always, it's just not, I mean, it's always worth a try, right? Oh, this is fun. This reminds me of Lucille Ball and Minnie Mouse, right? White and red with polka dots. It's really long. That's cool. Oh, there's a, a mark. Let's see. Joan Rivers. Yay. Very cool. Yeah, that's cool. Very long. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Bobby Moon says, if you listen, they will come and buy. <laughs> this is true. This is true. You just never know, right? And the, cra the wilder, the better, right? People don't like weird stuff. Okay, so then we've got this pearly bead and turquoise necklace. And again, with these fun clasps that I like, this kind of barrel clasp. There we go. <laughs> Shelly says, I would wear those with my business lady job. <laughs> Do you walk with your business lady shoes? <laughs> your working girl? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I wasn't teasing you. It was all in fun. I'm not making fun, I promise. <laughs> you might get a lot for Joan Rivers. Oh, business lady job. <laughs> you know, if you've got a, a job, an office job, where you're walking downtown in your office shoes, or you're wearing your tennis shoes because your office shoes really kill your feet. So, all right, then we've got some lavender beads here. Very cool lavender beads. And what's up next? There's a few things that are kind of tangledy. We've got some coral colored beads. This has got a lot of fun beads. Yes. Okay, tell me what, here's something. Oops, that fell. Tell me what you think of this. Here's, oh, school secretary. You get the brunt of all the stuff. I'm just saying. You're like the front lines. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cindy says, ooh, love the red and white polka dot necklace. Okay, so here, here's what I'm thinking. I was thinking, because I've got a bit of jewelry lying around. A little bit more than I probably could ever list ever in my lifetime. Maybe. Um, so, <laughs> I was thinking of doing some lots of like um, 10 for 10. Kind of like a, you know, when you go to the store and you like 10, do 10 items for 10 bucks, right? Just to kind of weed out some of the things like I could do a put them just throw them in a lot I guess but oh it'd be kind of fun you know maybe I'll try that a 10 for 10 lot yeah anyway tell me what you think that's what that's what I'm thinking you know 10 for 10 20 for 20 who knows okay um hi Chicago crown hustler Shelly says kids love my sassy shoes and jewelry <laughs> okay so there's the that necklace so 
Sounds like a good idea, Ange says. I haven't tried it. I've only sold one lot so far, but I thought maybe it'd be good. You know, and then if somebody wants to snap them up and resell, it's fine with me. Anyway, so then there's this one. Now, how long will it take me to get around to it? Goodness only knows. <laughs> this braided, it looks like maybe it used to be for glasses or I don't know. <laughs> Julie says, I lot it up 40 small flat rate boxes and liquidated a ton of my jewelry. They all sold good. Now I'm down to the really good stuff. See, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, it, there's stuff that will sell. I mean, if I sell it individually, it'll sell. But it's just um, time. Just listen to that. That's all I got to say. Just listen. <laughs> this sounds so good. I might just want to sit and, like, make a video and annoy everybody and just sit and, like, rub beads together. <laughs> <laughs> don't that sound don't that sound good <laughs> here we go Connie says I get to see plumbers and booty cracks depends on the booty might be good or not um okay uh, there we go yes good idea we have a buy 10 get the 11th free at the grocery store this necklace is long and it's got these black and hematite colored beads on them ASMR video. I keep hearing about these, and we were joking. Um, yeah, some, some of us were joking about that, like the whisper. And here I've got these beads. I'm going to rub them together really, really quietly. Like so. Let's listen slower. <laughs> Bobby's like, AMSR? AMSR? I'm not exactly sure what the AMSR stands for. I'm going to put these over here. But but it, it like the videos that I see or have seen that that have been like that are they whisper a lot and they do things really slow. Is that right? <laughs> you, will, you will buy the beads. You will like this clear bracelet. And it is really symmetrical and round. Yeah. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, I don't know exactly. Uh, yeah, we'll have to look up a Google it, YouTube it. Okay. There was like, there, and there was a lady that does it. <laughs> Nick says, don't start with the creepy whispering. Nick was, we were like, Nick and Zahir and I were like sending each other little like voice, you know, little video clips like whispering about stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I know how to do it. Was I doing it right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> this, who knows where this channel will go? I'm just saying. <laughs> never say never. Okay, but there's a lady that was doing munch pack, right? Oh, good job, Sherry says. I did come across a lady who was doing a munch pack or an unboxing of food, and she was like really like opening it really slowly, and she was like like really quiet, trying to quiet eat and then really slowly eat. Auto autonomous sensory meridian response is what it stands for, Melissa says. Okay, is that the doll whispering, Shelly says. <laughs> oh, okay, Rose says his, her husband watches it and says it helps him sleep and relax. Good morning, Debbie. Awesome. Okay, so this is a really cool bracelet. I like this. It's got these teeny little seed beads. <laughs> Bobby Moon says, that was amazing. You should do it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I will. You never know. Okay, so there's that. That's really cool. I like that bracelet. Very nice. It doesn't seem to be missing any beads either. Cool. Okay, nexty next. <laughs> so, I'm a natural, huh? With the AS I can't even say it right. ASMR. All right. Let's see. Maybe I should just read a story. ASMR style. Okay, is this tangled up? What's going on? Okay, it is tangled. Maybe it's tangled. There it goes. Okay. I feel some of the ASMR helps me fall asleep, Sheree says. Ah. All right, so here we go. There's this one. This has got some cool beads in it. Look at that one. And these have these little painty stripes and glitter. Very cool. Debbie says, I'm late. Did I miss anything good? We had a whisper session. We talked about my sister's bee stings on her hand. Oh, the bracelet. Okay, I missed it. Rose said something. It's huge in size. Oh, the side, like putting it on. Oh, you're right. It is huge. <laughs> we will list it for 
somebody who maybe has large, larger wrists. It is huge in size, you're right. Good, good point. But maybe, maybe somebody likes shoving them up their arm. I don't, I shouldn't say things are being shoved up places though. Oops. Okay, moving on. Looks like a vintage necklace. Yes, yes. This one. Very nice. Okay, then we've got this black bangle. Not huge in size, normal size in, in size. <laughs> and it's got these little dotty holes in it. Very cool. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, this is cool. So this is a wood necklace, but it's got these little whales. Look, wait, hold still, you. Okay, let's see if I can do this. There. Little whales on it. Maybe my next jewelry jar, maybe my next jewelry jar will be, how do I say it again? AS, AMSR? ASMR? And I'll just whisper through the whole thing and annoy the crud out of everybody or help you fall asleep. Like so. <laughs> That's cute. I like that a lot with the little, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Bobby Moon says, you missed all the good stuff. Maybe Elaine can use it for a wind chime ring. That's a good idea. Okay, I'll see if she wants it. <laughs> okay, next. Next we have, I've got to talk really slow. Please don't, Cindy <laughs> said. <laughs> Could that be considered tiki with the, with the whales? I don't know, why ask Jason. Would that be considered tiki? <laughs> Could you do the whole thing in a whisper? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, how's that? That one sounds pretty good too. All right, this one is got it's got these like translucent blue beads and then some little this is kind of they remind me of the ocean, right? It's really beachy. I like that a lot. Long like so. Very cool. Yeah, I I like the they're translucent. Like when I hold them up to the light, like you can't see it because the light's shining through it. What, what, what? <laughs> Wind chimes out of jewelry sounds like fun, Jenny says. I like the whale necklace piece says. Tiki webinar tomorrow night. Oh, good. I need to go bump it in my group to remind everybody because it's a really good, good price. Okay. It's like, yeah, it does look like sea glass. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Very nice. I like that. Keyword. Sea glass esque beads ish. And then we've got these silvery, these kind of are modernistic, futuristic. Okay, there's a new Blade Runner coming out. These kind of remind me of Blade Runner. I'm not exactly sure why, but there's a new Blade Runner coming out. Did you guys like the original? And then if you like the original, did you like the original, original, or the director's cut? <laughs> Sharky Mom says, please don't do ASMR jewelry show. I think I broke my phone. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Like, because you'd miss it or a bad thing because you'd throw your phone and it, you wouldn't be able to handle it. <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'll, I don't think that's what I'll do, but <laughs> you never can tell. I, I, yeah, like I said, I'm just, I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing separate channels anymore. I'm just going to. Because I, I, originally I made my other, like, the box of frogs because I was like, that's it. I, I had, you know, the Chatterbooks channel. I had my box of chocolate frogs channel because I wanted to be able to just, like, do all my crazy nonsense over there. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do all my crazy nonsense wherever I want. And this is where I want. So there will be unboxings. I, I went to Toys R Us. Okay, you know how some ladies, when they get stressed out, they go buy purses and shoes and stuff like that? Um, I went to Toys R Us and like cleaned them out of Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> Clean, I cleaned them out of like Harry Potter blind bag. There, so there's like a blind bag of like these Harry Potter um, keychains, and then the boxes, which I I was like I was about to refer to it, which I already did a video for, but I haven't uploaded it. Where my my guys are kind of in it. They're like standing outside of the camera, but we're like unboxing this here Harry Potter figures. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <gasps> no, I mean that. I should, oh, Starkey Mom said, I think it will break my phone. Okay. Native American bracelet is on loom beaded. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. No, no new channels. I've decided. Because it just is, it's a lot of work. You think, oh, you're just switching over to the other channel. and No, because to maintain, like, you've got to upload on a regular basis, you know? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, please. There are, there are Harry Potter blind bags. 
when we went to Walmart and, and found the boxes with the little figures, um, they only had like five of them left or I would have bought them all, you know. Um, and then we went to Toys R Us and they had some. And so I got them all <laughs> that they had left. And I'm not sorry about it at all. I was like, you know what? I, des I deserve it. I'm having a bad week and I'm buying myself all the Harry Potter. Nobody else gets Harry Potter but me. <laughs> that's not how I looked for real, but that's how I felt on the inside. Mine. All mine. <laughs> and then they all came home with me. So <laughs> there will be coming um, <laughs> pieces. Excuse me. I'm going to have to go shopping. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. If I, and here's the thing. If I have duplicates, if my boys don't steal them, then I'll probably do a giveaway with them. To me, Bobby Moon says to manage crazy nonsense is out of my league. I'll have to leave it to the boss ladies. <laughs> There's Harry Potter everything. It's a wonderful world we live in. And he says, it's true. This is true. And my friend came back from the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Um, and I let her take my wands with her. I don't know. If, I, I, I made another, anyway, I made another video on the other channel, but blah, blah, blah. Um, so she's got some video of her using the interactive wands that I have that I got at a garage sale. So anyway, so there's this inlaid, is that a, I guess it's a, a leaf or a feather and a bloom. I guess it's a leaf, right? Or a brown bird feather, one or the other. And then it's on this unusual necklace because this side has got like a loopy. <laughs> What's the thing under I want to be a wizard sign? Oh, this is a, um, it's like a tray. It was my grandmother's. And I kept, I don't know, it was, I've had it in my kitchen and then I brought it in here because I'm like, maybe I'll sell it. And now it's just been over there forever. And it's like a really light wood Italian tray. I don't know exactly. Yeah, anyway, so there's this necklace, very cool. And then the clasp is like on the side too. Well, maybe it, maybe it hangs differently. Maybe it hangs like that, like so. I will, yes, Te Texas Gale treasured Harry Potter buying confessions for sure oh gosh peace my loot crate came yesterday i have it harry potter loot crate coming this week i got it it's it's in there on my di my dining room table and it's like the dark arts <laughs> yeah it's cool uh okay so the next up we have got these bright yellow beads yep my harry potter crates here <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of harry potter coming up i can feel it I'm sorry I keep wobbling the, the, you're on a TV tray or whatever you call these things. All right, then we've got some bangly bangles. And have I opened, I peeked, I, I did peek. So I won't tell you what's in there, but I'm gonna unbox it for, for on the channel too. Okay, so I've done this before. I've had to fix one of these. Let's see if I can fix it there. There we go, fixed it. All right, so we've got these little shells on this one and it's got a little knot. And then the nut goes through the this. Peace, do you get those? Do you get the uh, Harry Potter crates? Because I love them. I'm like running out of room for stuff. Okay. All right. So there's that. Da -da. If you enjoy the stream and content, hit the like button, yo, Bobby Moon says. I still haven't heard back from my sister. Should I be worried? Maybe let's text her. How about that? Um, call me. Call me, boom. Yep, okay, there we go. <laughs> we need to find out. Okay, so 39, okay, we got 90 something viewers and 40 thumbs up. Go over there. If you wanna get your Hogwarts acceptance letter anytime this year, you better hit that thumbs up. <laughs> and, okay, the next up, we have got this red bangle. Where do you get the crates? There, There's the site called Loot Crate, and they, they have all different kinds of crates. They're just like, they have regular Loot Crates, socks. I get the Firefly one, and I get the Harry Potter one. And no, they don't send it to me for free. I wish they did. I buy them. <laughs> I, I buy them. They're fun. Yeah, and I think, let me scroll down, because I think I have a coupon code or an affiliate link. Oh, I do, I do. If you scroll down, $5 off Loot Crate, there's like a link down there. Um, I don't know how I got that, but maybe I signed up on their site or something like that. Like, 
refer, I think it's one of those refer a friend. If you refer a friend, you know, you can get blah, blah, blah. If she has been given a lot of antihistamine, she could be sleeping. This is true. My, I was with my dad in the car yesterday when he was telling her, take that Zyrtec and then take some Benadryl on top of that. I'm like, that's a lot of, you're knocking that girl out. She's just like 90 pounds over here. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of medicine. Okay. <laughs> Linda says, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. <laughs> Hopefully your Hogwarts acceptance letter will be in the mail soon. <laughs> if you're, how old do you have to be? 11? <laughs> 10, 11. Okay, next we got this macrame bracelet. Didn't we all, I mean, don't we all want the Hogwarts acceptance letter? Who doesn't, right? I do. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so then we've got this beaded pearly necklace. And again, my we're not measuring necks. When I get a text that, that calls says call me, I always think it's an emergency, Nini says. It is, we're, it's an emergency, we're live. We need to find out. Okay, so it does fit me. Cute. I really like this. But you know what I'm thinking? Like, we have this thing um, in Galveston called Dickens on the Strand, where like people dress up all Dickens era, you know? And, uh, oh, what was I going to say? And now a lot of people have been doing steampunk too, piratey steampunk. I think that would go really well with a, you know, Victorian era steampunk thing. Oh no, I missed another one. No, hey, don't don't worry about the farm life. We're still good. We're still going. It's still alive. Good for the business lady. <laughs> Look, that's right. Is it? Depends on which business lady. Pretty in pink necklace prom. Let's see if I can get this thing hooked on here. Can I hook it? Where's the hook? Oh, there's no hook. Uh-oh. That's the problem. We'll have to find a hook for it. Because this will sell. For sure. I can hold it on here. I've got my business necklace on. I'm ready for my board meeting. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I don't ever want to do a board meeting. It sounds super boring. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, then we've got this kind of marbly bangle, yellow bangle. It's kind of cool. That's awesome. Yeah, because then it's not just flat yellow. It's got some texture to it. Oh, Bryce Aggie Babe, Dickens on the Strand is one of the, my traditions I do for my birthday. Awesome. Okay, um, I haven't been since I was a kid. I hate to say it. I live vicariously through a friend of mine who goes every year. But I think my boys are old enough now to go. Yeah. Margaret in cosplay. Have a, have a, hello, hello, Melissa says. <laughs> now do this, now some clacky yells. Click, 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 click. Um, yeah. <laughs> cosplay. Okay. Now, pardon me. Okay, we've got this beaded necklace here. We are for sure going to have to do a, separate, a second video. Okay, uh, because there's still a ton. We're like barely scratching the surface here. And we're pushing, we're pushing it into the hour mark. Okay, this is tangled a little bit. I wonder if I can detangle it real fast. Or can I? I don't know if I can. I'll just show you them one at a time. Okay, so there's this blue one. It's kind of like that abalone type oyster shell that's dyed. Cool. Bryce Agibus, my toddler loves Dickens. You should take the boys. They have they have a lot more family kid aim things now. Oh, that's good. I think they would like that. Like the whole you know, like seeing all the dress up and just seeing like, okay, it's cool to not be like everybody else. You know? I mean, that's how I feel. Hang on. I'm trying to untangle these. There we go. I got it. There we go. Cosplay ASMR. <laughs> Y'all are giving me some good ideas. There we go. So there's that one. And then, where's the one I just detangled from it? I don't know. I dropped it back in there. Where'd it go? I don't know. Okay. So, now we've got some more to detangle. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to set this. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this. It just got tangled up a little bit. Look, there's, uh, you're okay, it's okay. One and a two and a three and uh, almost there, almost there, bring it home, got it, ha. There we go. We have this with these, what would you say the shape of these beads are? They're oblong, they are abstract. They're kind of a bronze color. 
Very cool. Very cool. And then, hang on, my, I had my phone muted, but I keep seeing it like light up like somebody. Okay, it's not my sister. Nope. 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 Not my sister. Okay, then this is really cute. It's dainty. Like this is, this is, I like this. Okay, stop. So it's got these little flowers. Oh no. Okay, that's okay. Super cute. Little flowers. And any marks? No, no maker mark on it. That's cute. How are we doing? Okay. You can find those style shoes from Zulily. Oh, I missed it. Okay. 47 thumbs up. Go over there and hit that thumbs up. You don't have to get a Hogwarts letter. We won't make you. All right, then there's a very cool, chunky um, bracelet. I I'm not being weird. I'm just smelling it because, like, it's not Bakelite or Lucite, which I'm still got to learn the difference between. But anyway, <laughs> it's worth a sniff, right? Okay, so there's that. Very nice. Pink, pink bracelet. Digging in some more. Oh, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to detangle some of this, I think. Some of it got tangled. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. There we go. Then we've got some baby blue beads on a polka dotty ribbon. That's pretty cute. Very cute. Hey Angie, just got back from the gym. Hi, Angie. Hello, hello. All right, we've got some more, okay. More little detangling happening over here. Detangle action. I, I need my sister to call me back. <laughs> now I wanted, to, I wanted to be able to tell you while we're here how she's doing. Now we've got, I don't even know what those are. Are they, they look like popcorn. I think they're popcorn. I think they're that strawberry popcorn. <gasps> oh, I broke one off. Oops. Okay, so it looks like so. It's popcorn, isn't it? There's a kind of popcorn called strawberry popcorn, but I don't know if that's what this is. I broke one off. So this is like a dried corn necklace, and I accidentally broke one off. Oops. Corn! That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> there we go. Corn. Interesting. There's certainly a market for a corn necklace. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Okay, next, 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 next. We're gonna try to call her again. What time is it? 11 o'clock. Let me call her house. I called her cell phone. She may be outside too. When she doesn't, she doesn't carry her phone around. She's not connected to the world and the internet like I am all the time. <laughs> Sorry if you're like, I didn't come here to watch you call your sister, Margaret. You never know. You never know what you're gonna get. Okay, let's put that on over there. Oh, look, this is like that pink one. Like so. But it's cream colored. Very nice. And then we've got this little wooden one with these little wooden discs. And this screws on. This. Oh, oh, okay, not home either. Okay, Indian corn. <laughs> yeah, she didn't answer again. So there's that. And of course, what am I doing? Not leaving a message. She'll see it's me. Okay. That kind of reminds me of like a surfer girl would wear something like that. Ring, ring. Maybe she'll get the hint and call me back. We'll see. Three text messages missed. Oh, they're from Randy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we've got a black beaded necklace. Oh, that's interesting. So it, it was originally like a clear-ish bead, and maybe the, the black paint is coming off it. That's interesting. Okay. Or is it supposed to be that way? It looks like, so. this is what I would do too. It looks like somebody went through and tried to color on it with a Sharpie to make it black again, which is exactly what I would do. Maybe what I'll do. <laughs> Bobby Moon says, love the sister vid, so much fun. Me too. And like uh, when school lets out, my guys and I are going up there to see her. Okay, what's this? This is cute. Come on. Look at this. Okay. This is really cute. So it's got like this teeny little leaf in there. And then it's got this colorful green, teal, purple, and it goes on. It's going to click on the, the, the mic. That's cool. And then it's not too tight on your neck. It's actually quite comfortable. That's neat. I like that one. Very cool. Very cool. Rose, this is so much fun. Thank you so much. <laughs>
contact her on the Morse code machine. Maybe she'll tap me back. Do, 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 right? <laughs> FYI, make sure to update new iOS release for phone. Fixes some of the hacking problems. Oh, okay. Then we've got this big flower, which is super cool. That abalone oyster shell look, or is shell. And then on this woven braided cord with a little seashell for the clasp. Cool. That's awesome. Okay. Next up, we have a flower. It looks like it's missing a bit, but the, oh, no, maybe I can, here, look, we can fix that. There, it's not missing anything. What was I talking about? There, it was just twisted out of its, this looks like it could be like, a, like I'm a mermaid now, right? Oh, if this was blue or purple, could you imagine? I can twist this. I can make this work. Now it is a crown, a mermaid crown. Only I don't like being in the water that much. But we'll pretend this can be a mermaid crown. Okay. Oh, wait. Awesome sister's calling back. She has awesome sister. Okay, let's see what she says. Hi, I'm live. How are you? Hey. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm actually really for real live. So everybody was wondering, how are you doing? Well, I kind of have to drive with one hand. Did they have to cut your finger off? Uh, it was about blue and about to <gasps> pop. But oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I tried. I I had iced it down for a long time, and then I tried to cut it off with the hacksaw, and then I tried it with the Dremel, and that got too hot. And so I went to the volunteer fire department. They tried to do the string trick where they wrapped it around with fishing line and kind of moved the inflammation away from the ring. Uh -huh. And it all it did is make my knuckle blow up. So that didn't work. And then I went to the fire station here in town, and he had this little specialty tool and it had a little curve on there, and he stuck it underneath my ring. And then he clamped down with his little miniature circular saw on top, and he had a key that would turn the saw. And he saw through it slowly and painfully. Oh my God. We snapped that ring in half. And then we got needle nose pliers. I got needle nose pliers on one side of the ring, and he got needle nose pliers on the other side of the ring. And me and him pulled opposite ways to crank it open. And I got just barely enough gap. We put a whole bunch of KY jelly on it and then pulled with all my might. And <laughs> that ring off oh my gosh it hurts so bad oh my gosh <laughs> yeah so in the chat everybody's like okay um they're they're really wishing you well and and nick says you're hardcore <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much yeah it's uh quite an adventure oh my gosh okay well i just wanted to check it how is your finger now is it still blue um no it's just real puffy and red and you know, I definitely look like a Sesame Street character, but I'm okay. <laughs> Peace, Peace says your text is tough. And Nini says, whoa, don't mess with Elaine. Yep. <laughs> yep. Cindy says that's one tough chick. Do you have before? Well, I guess I should have videoed it for you guys. Next time I get stuck into a situation like that, I'll video it for you. But I know next time I won't be wearing my ring. Oh, my gosh, Elaine, that would have been YouTube gold. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get one of those firefighters to take off his shirt and hold the camera, turn it around, but then turn it back around. You know? Yeah, well, I didn't get one of those firefighters that look like the ones that you always see on the calendars. I got one that was about as tall as a, a skinny old wooden tree, and he had about three teeth left in his head, but he sure was nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, he was very nice, yeah. So... Yeah, I don't. I don't think anybody would have want to see that part, but they probably wanted to see what my face looks like when I try to pull it off. Oh gosh! <laughs> Nick says that would have been a YouTube sensation for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh! We're gonna we're gonna get your head in the game, girl. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Okay, I'll call you back in a bit. Okay. Okay. All right. Love you. Y'all all have a good day, and thanks for all your 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 nice comments. I appreciate it. Okay. Yes, they're all very, they're hoping you, they're wishing you well and glad you're doing okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay. She didn't record it? Are you kidding me? Okay, she's probably like in the zone of get this thing off my finger already, right? <sighs>
<laughs> oh, am I exploiting my sister? Maybe. But what a way to start a channel, right? If she was going to start. <laughs> a lot of thumbs up for that video. <laughs> yeah, she, she is definitely a tough, a tough girl. She is a country girl. She, yeah. Anyway, okay. Well, I'm glad she called so that we could hear. Were you guys able to hear her? Oh, Angie was behind. What happened? So she, she went to um, remove some bees from this house. They ended up being more infested than she thought. And um, so she was just like covered. Like she had all her suit on and everything. But she had, there were so many bees on her hands and stuff that apparently a couple of them were able to get through the seam of, the, of her glove and sting her hand. And so she got a couple stings on her hand, which swelled her hand up and she hadn't thought about taking her wedding ring off because she had on her, all her stuff, right? Um, so her hand whoosh, swelled up and she couldn't get her ring off. So I hope she took pictures. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So poor guy, I mean, poor girl. <laughs> yep, yep, oh dear, my poor sister. But yeah, she's a trooper for sure. She is a trooper. Okay, exploiting never, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, could you imagine? Oh. <laughs> Everybody wants to see that, right? Yeah. Uh, Hank says, no, I'm not playing with no bees. <laughs> Mad props to her. Yes, for sure. Yeah, she and she carries, she has her Zyrtec that she brings and she has an EpiPen. She's allergic to bees, so. Uh, apparently not deathly allergic though. Okay, and we'll do this. This will be our last one because it's been an hour. So there's this really cool glass bead that's got these kind of inlays of. It looks like inlays of either other glass or polymer. No, there, that's glass in there. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. All right. Shelly says, I had a bee sting under a pair of gloves. I still have the scar. My whole arm swelled up. Luckily, I had no rings on. Could you imagine? For real, girl, I've been crying like a baby. Me too. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So here is this. Okay. And then we still have quite a bit left in the box. So um, let's see. What's today? Tuesday. I may be able to come back tomorrow to do the other half. I'm going to have to move because if you guys watch the merch mines um, that we do, or mer not merch mines, but merch talk every week, um, I'm going to have to move it because. I can't do the time we've been doing anymore. So we're looking for a new time for merch talk. If you come watch merch talk um, on Wednesdays at noon. So hopefully we figure something out. Hopefully, because, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, thank you so much again, Rose, for the box of jewelry. And we will be back. We will be back. I will be back. Hopefully you will be back with me tomorrow to go through the rest of it. Yeah, so that'll be fun. All right, again, we have got 86 viewers. Go over there and hit that thumbs up button. And, and yeah, so thanks a lot. Guys, have a really good day. Bye.